Okay, so when I first introduced you, I mentioned informatics. So can you kind of tell the audience that have never heard of that term before? What does that so, mean? So it, it's informatics. There's an R in there, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, so as it, it's really, you, you know, it's a short word for information science. Uh, okay. it, uh, many decades ago, the French coined the term informatique, uh, and, and they were talking about information science. And in the U.S., we adopted it as informatics. But it's really um, the uh, capture, representation, uh, and use of biomedical uh, data and knowledge to uh, address issues in, in healthcare, in biomedical research, public health, and so on. So how does your work kind of tie into this with all of us? With the Well, I've done a lot of work with um, building repositories of clinical data and research data for reuse, which is tricky because electronic health record data are captured for patient care. So mm -hmm. you have, you know, what was what test did the patient get? And we don't test patients every day. We test them when, only when we need to. In research, we sometimes do test patients every day because we're following a research protocol. So the translation of data from the elect, from the, the healthcare uh, arena into the research arena uh, requires an understanding of the source of the data, how the data are represented, how they're coded, what they mean. Uh, and so I have a lot of experience in that. Uh, and I think that's why they asked me to be the the informatics lead. And then I've managed uh, informatics teams at my own institution. Now I'm kind of managing teams at a number of other institutions uh, to help them uh, comply with the, with the data submission requirements. What's been some of your findings so far doing this work? Uh, the, <laughs> it's the, the finding is really that the people requesting the data uh, are really don't uh, have a good handle on the challenges of uh, facing the people who have to provide the data. Uh, so the DRC asks us for, they say, give us these data. We uh, follow the instructions, send them the data. And then there's often a disconnect where they go, well, we don't understand these data. And we say, well, you've got to tell us what you don't understand. And so there's a conversation. And as a clinician and an informatician, I'm kind of in the middle translating uh, between the two, the two languages being spoken. Uh, so that's really uh, the, the lesson here is that saying, oh, we're going to just, we've got electronic health records now all through the country. So the problem with data acquisition is solved. We can get all the data we need for research and it's free because it's already been collected. Yeah, not the case. Uh, the data, uh, you know, have to be curated. We have to understand uh, where they came from and what they mean before we can try to reuse them for research. So that's a that's been an ongoing experience since my time at Columbia and all through my time at NIH. And it's just being reinforced here. Do you know what's happening in Birmingham? Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.